Andre from Vanderbilt Grace Consultancy. It's late April going to early May, got quite dry. Uh, first cut soil has probably grown quite well and several tons of dry matter are hit there already on these paddocks. And, and farmers have been questioning me whether to let that grow on a lot longer. You know, what if it's dry when we mow it? Uh, will we make the most of it while it's growing and mow it a lot later? So it's really important to consider what's happening to that plant and what might change through that period. Obviously, if you're allowed to grow a lot longer, your digestibility and your energy um, and protein levels on that plant are going to drop, so you're going to end up with not as good a quality silage. But it's also important to look at what happens after that. So if you now allow that, that ideal stage leafy um, silage to, to grow a lot longer and maybe to a point where you're harvesting four and a half, five tonne of dry matter per hectare, you're now dealing with a plant that's it's lifted its um, tillering point a lot higher, well above the mowing height, it's gone quite white in the butt when you mow it, right? So, so if, you, if you harvest that much later plant, you're now put, talking well into May, you're getting quite close to the perennial ryegrass plant reproductive period as well. So you're now forcing that plant to go into a really stressful time coming into the, into the reproductive phase. What it takes for that plant to recover at that time is so much more than if you mowed it at, at the ideal stage. So in my opinion, when it's dry like this, you almost want to mow it slightly sooner rather than later. Get that plant off while it's still green in the bud and it won't take so much for recovery and it'll go through that stressful period before it gets through to the reproductive period. It's, it'll be surprising how much moisture is still low enough at the, at the root level of this plant to start that re-establishment at this point. And, and if you allow that plant to get some ground cover to cover up, to stop sunlight hitting the, the soils, it'll, it'll be well on its way to a second cut. So if you allow that plant to grow much more in the first cut, you may gain some, but I believe you'll lose much more in the subsequent cut than what you gain in the first one, all right?